All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jesse Mesa here, and this is my first uh, tutorial, or tutorial, however you like to pronounce those things. So, uh, yeah, this is my very first one. I'm going to be teaching you Flash, because I get messages almost every day, because people really want to know how I do things. Um, and I thought it'd be fun, you know, just to show you guys how I work, and, you know, some tips and tricks and the basics probably just explain that backwards but whatever there's gonna be a series of videos and I'm just gonna show you what's up um, this is my first tutorial so I will stutter I will you know pause to collect my thoughts cuz I'm no professional um, but uh, yeah so here we go uh, this video is just gonna be a basic rundown on the interface so you all can get a custom custom to it um, when you first start up, this is the screen you get. It's the welcome screen. Um, there's some cool little stuff down here like get started, new features, blah, blah, blah. You can check this to not have this pop up. I have it popped up because I like it. It's cool. Um, right here, if you had uh, any previous projects you worked on, it'll show you right there. And this is um, this is a little tab that uh, where you start. So you can pick, I don't know, any of these work fine. Um, your first option is ActionScript 3.0 or 2.0. Um, I'm going to cover that in a later video. So for right now, just go hit 2.0 and then boom, here you go. Um, depending on which version you have, I have CS4 and it doesn't really matter what version you have. If you don't have Flash at all, you can just go to uh, Adobe.com. They have a 30-day uh, trial download and I'm not sure if it's CS5. CS5 just came out. I don't know if it's... CS5 is available to download yet, or I mean, you know, but whatever. I mean, I'm using CS4. It doesn't really matter. You can use Flash 8. I was using Flash 8 until freaking I upgraded to CS4, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm um, losing my train of thought here. Um, I, da, da, da. Interface. Okay. <laughs> I need to look at my notes. Yeah, this is going to go swell. Okay, so when you first start up, you get this little white box. That's awesome. And... That's basically your stage. So anything you draw, wee, anything you draw is going to appear, obviously, right there. See? There you go. So everything in this white box is your stage. But if you notice, there's a lot of gray st stuff out here. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> why that took me so long. But, yeah, everything you draw out here will not appear in your movie. See? There's nothing there. So this really gives you some freedom to maybe if you're sketching out some ideas or you have something you want to doodle out here. And it's best used for characters like right there if you have some guy like walking. Oh, yeah, he's totally walking. <laughs> have him walking and then if you want him to appear, you'd come from, you know, stage left, stage right. But just remember, everything in the white appears. Everything in the gray does not. Wee! I'm an animator. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, depending on um, what version you have or your workspace, these layouts might be a little different. But you go to window down here, uh, workspace. There's different workspaces you can use. Like there's an animator classic, uh, debug for you know coders. But this is the one I use. It closely resembles um, classic. Um, that's the one that closely runs. I just renamed it mine because I have some, you know, I have the properties and action bar down here. But normally what I'm used to is tools on the left and library on the right, which works for me. You can, again, pick whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But the, um, in my version or classic version, all your tools would be on the left right here. This is where you, you know, selection tool, draw pen tool, pencil tool, brush tool, whatever. All your crap is right here. I might do a separate one. I'll probably do a separate one to show you which each of these buttons do. Um, over here is your library, which again is going to be another video because we're talking. We're going to talk about symbols and all your symbols that you create will go in here. But for right now, you know, this is just a quick overrun, um, overview, overkill. I don't know. <laughs> it's late for me. Um, up here is your timeline. That's the main thing. This is where all the magic happens, so to speak. Um, this is where you manage your keyframes, your layers. This is where you manage everything, your scenes. It all goes up here. And again, you can take these windows and you can drag them out wherever you freaking want. You can put that there. You can put your tools over there. So, like, Flash is really customizable. You can put whatever you want. 
you can combine two things. So look, see right here, I have my library and timeline together if I really wanted to. That's kind of annoying. But I mean, you have to find what's comfortable for you. So I would suggest downloading a trial and just playing around with some stuff. And this is getting a little crazy here. <laughs> okay, but you know, okay, yeah. But again, so that's that's really it. You know what? That's actually it. This is just uh, the intro. Um, next, I'll probably go over the tools because, I don't know, that's probably next. But again, you know, I wasn't fortunate enough to have, you know, tutorials back then. When I first got Flash, I just, I taught it to myself. I just opened the program up and said, okay, what does this button do? Oh, okay, it does that. What does this do? We, okay. And I bought a lot of books. Um, I, I'm going to recommend some Flash books that I really like, but I'll do that later in a separate video. So, um, what a beautiful scene. I'm going to name this and I'm going to call it awesome city. Cuckoo. What? Awesome city. Hooray. Okay. Um, yay. Uh, okay. That's it. That's it for this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to go over tools. Laters.